this is Christy Falk with Create with Christy. I'm an independent stamp map demonstrator, and if you follow me on my Facebook page, you'll have seen my Facebook Live video that I posted yesterday. I unboxed all the goodies I got from my pre-order for the new annual catalog, and I also included the um, Everything is Rosy product medley that you can order this month. So you do have a chance to order some new stuff before the new catalog, which I think is kind of cool. Um, but when I did the video, my internet was not cooperating. I live out in the country, and we don't have the real high-speed internet. It's not awful. We can still stream TV, but when it goes to doing Facebook Lives, it likes to pixelate or the audio gets messed up. My voice is off. It's very frustrating. So when I rewatched the video after it was done, on my end, it looked good. Then when I watched it on Facebook, I noticed that the picture kept getting all pixelated and blurry, and you couldn't really see the new product. So I thought I'd make a quick video and show you everything that, and record it. This way I can upload it, and it'll be a lot clearer picture for you. First off, I'm going to start off with what you can order this month. It's the Everything is Rosy product medley. If you order it from me and use the host code that you see in the bottom left-hand corner of this video, you will get put in my exclusive Facebook group page. I will post videos of, product, of um, projects for you so you can learn how to make them, and I will send you the cardstock with it all cut out that you'll need. You'll already have the ribbon and the designer paper that comes with the kit but you, the cardstock does not come with this. So I will mail out the cardstock already cut for you so you can make the projects while you watch the video. The only thing that you'll have to supply that's not in the kit are the ink pad colors and your adhesive. But everything else is in here. I will only use the products that are in here for the other things, except like I said, the cardstock, the adhesive, and the ink pads. But I'll supply the, supply the cardstock for you. So if you do that, and then also if you're not in Facebook, on Facebook, I've actually got one of my best friends is not on Facebook, I will do it on YouTube also. I'll put the videos on YouTube and make them private videos, and then you will get links to them and you will only be the ones to see them that order from me. So um, I will be doing a Facebook Live showing a project I made with this, but it will not be one of the exclusives since everyone will see it. You will only have access to these projects and get to see them if you order from me. So let's go ahead and show this. I like the way it's boxed up. And the first thing you see is the Everything is Rosy stamp set. I love the greetings on this or even things to put inside your card. Really like the images on this. I can't wait to start making stuff either this afternoon or tomorrow. We've got stuff going on tonight. And some dies to go with it. I think this border die is so pretty. I can't wait to see what that looks like cut out. So those are the, is the die set and the stamp set you get. Oh, and by the way, this is $80, but it is so worth it. There's the bundle. Plus you get everything in this bag. Let's get this out so you can see it all. First I'll show you this beautiful ribbon. This is Melon Mambo, a quarter inch ruched ribbon. I think that's how you say that. Isn't that pretty? I love that color, Melon Mambo. And you get 10 yards of that, so that's a lot of ribbon. And you also get 10 yards of this, and of the two, this one's got to be my favorite. This is Knight of Navy Rose Gold Metallic Edged Ribbon. It's three-eighths of an inch wide. But I'm gonna, hopefully the video is showing how pretty that rose gold border is. Oh, it's so pretty. It's elegant looking. I love that. You also get 60 rose gold mirror embellishments. Now, if you look at this, the little embellishments look kind of faded. They're not shiny. That's got a film on it to protect them so they don't get scratched. So when you put it on your project, you peel that off and it'll be just as shiny as what these edges are. But I think those are so pretty. Rose gold is my favorite gold. It's so pretty. You also get a full bottle of the rose gold shimmer paint. So it is, it's this, this is the only way you can get this shimmer paint is by getting this ensemble. Same with the embellishments and the ribbon. You can't get those separately. They only come with this kit. And then here's a lot of other things you get. You get two sheets of these die cuts, these floral die cuts. Very pretty. You also get two sheets. These are all six by six sheets, by the way. Of these rose gold frames and embellishments. There are flowers on there, too. And then two sheets of this one with some other frames and flowers that are all rose gold. And then you also get eight six by six pieces of rose gold foil. This is so pretty in person. I hope you can tell how pretty it is in the video. I love it. And then you get 48 sheets of 6x6 six six designer series paper, and this is specialty designer series paper. So you get eight sheets of six designs. They are double-sided. One side has the rose gold, as you see with this one. 
and then here's the other side. So don't those look pretty together? I love that Melon Mambo with the Knight of Navy. It is so pretty. I don't know if I've used those two colors together. I will be from here on out. I love that. Then we've got this one, and it's got the little rose gold flowers with it. And there's the other side for that. Then we've got this one. And here's the rose gold side with that. Isn't that gorgeous? That Knight of Navy and the rose gold is so pretty. And then I really like this one too. What an elegant look with the rose gold. And here's the other side for that. Very, very pretty. And we had some paper similar to this a couple years ago. It had the copper and different colors. But this has got the rose gold. Really like that. And here's the other side. I almost forgot to show you the other side for that one. So each, there is at least one side with rose gold and the other side is just a design. And then once again, that's got little flowers that have the rose gold. And there's the other side. So you get eight sheets of each design. So that's 48 sheets all together. So it's a really good deal. And like I said, if you order from me, you'll get exclusive projects and I will give you the cardstock that you need to make them. And you'll have videos to be able to make them along with me. And I'll let you know what color, uh, ink colors you need. And I'll make sure to use the same ones for all the projects so you don't have to have buku number of ink pads. But it's a very good deal for $80. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm so glad I got it. I knew when I saw the pictures that I would love it, but I like it even better than I thought I would. And I'm being honest when I say that. It is just gorgeous. This ribbon was worth it just for the ribbon. I love rose gold. And I will be showing you different things to use with shimmer paint. So if you haven't got to use shimmer paint much, I'll be showing you different techniques of that in those videos too. Okay, now that we're done with that, now I'm going to show you all my goodies from the annual catalog. First off, I'm going to show you, ta-da, the catalog. I can't show you the inside. Sorry about that. If I could, I would. But Stampin' Up! has their rules, and I can only show you the front cover. But doesn't that look pretty? When I saw the front cover before I got the catalog, I thought, yep, I'm going to love this one. Aren't those projects gorgeous in there? And I... They have a video they've let us see to show how to make that magnolia. So I'll make a video of that to show you how to do that. I've got everything to make that. So that's going to be one of the projects I make and do a video. But it's so pretty. And I actually think I have everything that's on this page too, which is kind of cool. As a demonstrator, with the annual catalog, they give us a list of things that we can pre-order. We can't order all the new stuff in the annual catalog. But this year, they gave us a lot bigger list of stuff. And so I didn't get probably half of what was on the list. It was pretty neat. I couldn't believe everything we could get. Here's the first one. It's called Sailing Home. I love we, the masculine sets they've put in our catalog this year. But that lighthouse, the sailboat, I just love the look of this. The font and the greetings, just really, I love it. It's a cling stamp set. You can hear me say I love it quite a bit in this video, so sorry about that. <laughs> I love everything I got. So it is a cling stamp. This year with the annual catalog, there will not be wood mount stamps except for the big background stamps. They still are going to have wood mount for those if you'd like to, because some people really like having the wood mount for those. But you're either going to be able to get a stamp set in a cling stamp set, which is the red rubber. And um, they're called cling because they attach to the block so well. If you've got any cling stamps from the occasions catalog, you know what I mean. So, and then the other option will be the photopolymer, which is what this, everything is rosy. I forgot to tell you that it's a photopolymer. So those will be the only two choices you have. And a stamp set will either be photopolymer or be cling. You don't have to worry about getting the wrong item number. There'll only be one item number. So we've got this and here's a new die set. As you can see, they're shaped, the packaging is shaped different. These are the new one, dies that are made from a different manufacturer now. I'll open this up and there are all the dies. So that goes with all the different images. So you die cut the lighthouse, a sailboat. There's even a neat stitched label for the greetings. There's a little banner that's stitched. I'm a sucker for the stitched. I love them. So they're a very good deal. I love it. Can't wait to make stuff with that. And the, the other things that go along with this ensemble, there is a memory and more paper pack. And when I did my live yesterday, I didn't realize there was another set of the smaller cards inside. I thought there were more, but I didn't see them. So you're going to actually see more than what my lives got to see. So I'll go through these real quick so the video doesn't get too long. I'll move those over to the side. But these are the 6x4 ones. So that's one side, and there's the other side. Then there's this one, and that's the other side. And I like how they give us two of each, so that way you've got a chance to use both sides if you like both sides. So that's... 
Yep, that's it for those. Making sure I'm showing you the right ones. Then we've got these two. This one. It's like I'm showing one, the one side and then the other side's in my right hand. Then we've got these. You can do it either way. Then there's this one. But these are perfect for scrapbook pages. You do, and if you don't scrapbook, you only card make, you can use these for card making too. And they come with these really neat overlays. Let's see if I can get a piece of white cardstock. I meant to get that out again and I forgot. So you can see them better. This one, there's some ocean waves. This one has two small ones, so they can fit on the four by six pages, so you can just cut it right in half, not four by six, I'm sorry, the uh, three by four cards. So you can just cut down that middle, have a little sailboat with the sun, or this little frame. Here's another big overlay for the big cards, isn't that pretty? And they've all got that linen look, which is very in right now, I love that. Now these are more of a crumb cake color, I'm not sure if that's exactly the color, but a brownish color. So you've got two on this one. Love that anchor. Here's one with a bunch of boat steering wheels. I'm sure there's another name for them and I can't think of it right now. But if you only want it, you could even just cut out one of these steering wheels if you just want that, if you don't want to keep it all in one piece. So a lot of different things you can do with that. And then this neat ornate one. I love this one. The design on that is so pretty. Those are all the overlays. Then you get two of these, they are self-adhesive die cuts and they are extra thick. So I have trouble calling them stickers because they are so thick so they can pop up with dimensionals if you want some more dimension in them. You get two sheets of those and you also get two sheets of these. Those are the same thing, the self-adhesive die cuts. Now I'll hurry up and show you. And they all come in a nice box too. Here's the box they come in so you can keep them stored. Here are, now these are the ones I showed yesterday. So we've got this, make sure, yeah, so that's one side and the other side. Oh, they're all gonna be upside down here, do this. And we've got those two sides. We've got those. And these, oh, there we go. So many things you can do with these. That would be a good scrapbook card, whatever you wanna do. You could even put some of these on a 3D project if you have a box or something that you're doing. Then we've got these two. And these, I love the color scheme in this too. So pretty. Here we go. And just this last of this stack. Now these were the ones I saw, I showed you yesterday in the live. And now this is a set I didn't realize was that was in there. So you can make Father's Day cards with this. So there's the other side. Oh, I love that. So I'm seeing this stack for the first time. Love that. And there's this one. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay. There you go. And hello, handsome. My husband would love that. <laughs> there we go. Might have to put that on one of his cards. Our anniversary is coming up. 30 years. Unbelievable. There you go. We're getting into the empty nest stage. We've still got one at home. But he'll probably be moving out pretty soon, so it'll just be the two of us again, which I'm okay with. Yes, I'm missing my girls, but it's kind of nice to have some time together. There we go. There we go. Yep, I really do. I'm so glad I got this. There's another Memories and More card kit, too, that'll go with this Magnolia Suite that I'll show you here in a minute. Now, I didn't get the Memories and More if I, I wish I could have gotten everything that was in the pre-order. I Actually, this is the first pre-order I think I love just about everything that was in it. That usually doesn't happen. So I'm really excited about this catalog. But I only had so much money I could spend. I'm sure you can relate. <laughs> There's too many beautiful things. Okay, now some more things that are in this suite. Last thing I'll show you will be the designer series paper. But I love this Baker's Twine. I don't know if you can see it real well. It's a little thicker than the average Baker's Twine and it's Night of Navy and Sahara Sand together. So it does not look perfect for these projects with the sale, what I've shown you so far. And I'll put it up against a designer series paper when I show it to you. There are also some embellishments. Oops, what's the right way? These are called Sail Away Trinkets. 
the little steering wheel for the ship and an anchor. I can't remember how many you get of each one. I'll look at that here in just a minute, but aren't those neat? And they're they are not real thick, so you can put these on cards and still mail them. I love that our embellishments aren't as thick as they used to be, so we don't have to worry about them being too thick for our cards. But it says there are, hmm, normally they tell you the number. Oh, there we go, 20, so there must be 10 of each. Love that. Now for the designer series paper. This is what kept messing up in the catalogs the most when I showed the designer series paper. So there's one side, isn't that? And this the other side. Oops, since the screen's probably not quite wide enough, but you can get the design gist. Then there's here with the rope, and here's the other side. I see so many neat projects I'm gonna make with this ensemble, or suite, I should say. And they've all got that linen look again, like I was talking about. Makes it look even extra special. I mean, it would look pretty if it was just those images, but then having that linen look with it just makes it even better. Even this one has a little bit of little places where it looks like linen. And here's the other side for that one. Those of you who saw my live, doesn't this look much better with this? <laughs> there we go. I'm hoping it is anyway. I can, doing it this way, I can't see the screen. So hopefully it's still behaving. So those are all that. And then, I, like I told you, let me get one of the ones I have a, there. It does not look good with the paper. Really like that a lot. Okay, so that was the Sailing Home Bundle and with all its accessories. Oh, and I did want to show you a card that I made in my uplines. One of my sidelines um, got to go to onstage, so she got stuff earlier than we did. So here was a card that we made with the bundle and the designer series paper. And one of the dies makes that little rope thing. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's pretty cool. And there's that baker's twine. I love it. I've got a little steering wheel tied on with that. Very cool. I love that. Okay, now we're ready for the free as a bird bundle. This is one of my favorites. I love those birds. They are so cute. And it's a cling set. And the dies these are going to be one of my favorites. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I use the stitch-shaped ones a lot. Now these dies are, let's see, what are they called again? They're nested, nested labels dies. Aren't those wonderful? They are all stitched. I love the shape of them. One of them will die cut these birds out perfectly. And one thing I didn't realize until I opened it up yesterday, there's even a straight die that's stitched. So if I wanted to have a stitched straight border along the bottom of my top of my card, you can use that. So I'm real excited about having that too. So I will, you will be seeing this die set used a lot on my videos. I'm real excited about these. And to show you what they look like, I got to make a card. Now this will show you some of the items I'm gonna be showing you here, but isn't that neat? I just love that die, and those birds are so adorable. Okay, so now we'll go to a kit. This is a little card kit. It is called Laser oh, Bird Ballad Laser Cut Cards and Tin. So this is a nice tin. I really like the tin. And you open it up and look at the beautiful cards that are inside. Isn't that pretty? It's all attached. So you can keep it like this, or you can put cardstock or designer paper behind there and just put some glue along the edges. You don't need to put glue on all these little things, just along the, the border of it and stick it on. So I'll, you'll be seeing some cards made with that. And I love the envelopes that go with it, that little scallop edge. Love it. So these, I could see these being pretty. Wedding invitations, anniversary cards, just so many different possibilities with this. I can't wait to play around with that. Then there's some little trinkets, bird ballad trinkets. And they're kind of a burnished copper maybe, but there's the, or bronze. So there's the, the flower, there's a key, leaves, there's some, oh yeah, there's a little bow. Aren't those, I just love these. I think they're so pretty. I can kind of get those up a little closer so you can see them. So there are 24, so that means you get eight of each with that. Then this beautiful ribbon, love it. It's um, very vanilla, scalloped lace trim. 
I can go ahead and bring some out, but it's a little hard to see how pretty it is. You can actually see better with it still on the roll. But love that. I love lace ribbon. And you get 10 yards of that, if I'm remembering right. Yep, 10 yards. Here is the beautiful designer series paper that goes along with it. Love the soft look of this. Very pretty. So here's that, and there's this other side for that. And you couldn't see this in the live video, but those are little bird feet. So I think pretty sure you can see it with this video because the picture should be a lot clearer. And this one looks like dogwood maybe with some seagulls. And we've got our feathers. you got to have feathers for a bird set and bird cages. Then these flowers. And you'll see a card here a little bit of, uh, in a little bit that we um, fussy cutted these flowers out. So you can do a lot with that too. And there's the other side for that one. And we've got the birds and a striped paper behind it. Some more birds. So if you love birds, you've got to get this. See, I told you the designer paper was just gorgeous this time around. I am so happy. I love designer paper. And I'll bring that card in again. You can see that's the dogwood paper that we used. There's that ribbon, and there's one of the trinkets. We put that on with the glue dot. And I just love that. And we made almost like our own designer paper stamped one of the floral images with the same color. I think this is the um, new color. I can't remember. Or no, this might be pool party. This is pool party. And then we stamped it with pool party ink. So pretty. And these are done with blend build, uh, with the blends, stamping blends. Okay, that's the end of that group. Okay, the next group we've got is the Good Morning Magnolia bundle. I love this magnolia, and I don't know, with the stamps we've had with this a large floral image, a lot of time there isn't a die for it. This time we have die. We don't have to fussy cut that out. I'm so excited. And this is another one of our new sets. Oh, I forgot to show this the last time I showed a die set. Like I told you that the packaging is a different size. They've made it. So if this card, now I'm going to be putting magnet sheets on this. But you can, they fit perfectly inside the cases. So if you're one of those ones that likes to put your dies with your stamp set, they've got it perfectly sized for you. I love that. They've just thought of everything. That's the nice thing about going with another manufacturer. They've got a lot more say so on how things are done. And that was a really big reason they changed companies. So neat. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you, another thing that's different about these dies. Oh, there is another set. It's a very nice set, and it's another cling set. I love that image. So, 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 so pretty, and got words with them. That's what I love about our stamp sets now. A lot of them have the greetings in with them now. So that way, you can make so many different things with that one stamp set. Love, love, love. Now, if you look really closely, another nice feature, the tape that's on here, it's strong enough to hold the dies on, but it's so much easier to take off. I don't know, with, the, with our other dies, sometimes they didn't want to come up, you'd start bending your die. Also, you would get sticky residue from the, there is no sticky residue on here at all. all even, this one I've taken off a few times. Let me take this one off. Came off really easy, and there's absolutely no sticky stuff on it. Love that. That was one big complaint I had with our other dies. Another one, I don't know if you can tell in the picture, but with the old dies, the blade was right along the edge of the open inside opening. Now it's recessed into it just a little bit, and I'll show you why. Here's the image. I'm going to stand up here so I can get above it a little bit. See how this lines up now? With the old one, you'd have to you'd have a little white border that went around it, and you'd have to try to keep moving it around to get that border to be even. Now you just line up the image, the exact image in that opening. See how easy that was to line up? And then when I would die, now that we die cut it, we'll ha still have a little border, but it'll be a perfectly spaced border because the blade will do it for you. Love that. So it's going to be so much easier to line up the images. So I'm really excited about this one. And I've got a card to show you on this too. So I'll show you that here in a minute. Then we've got some ribbon. And this is a combo pack. You get five yards of each. This is some linen ribbon. And this is uh, Mossy Meadow linen thread. So they look even good together. So that's a ribbon combo pack with that group. And now I'll bring in the designer series paper. It's called Magnolia Lane. Pretty, huh? And see how good these ribbons look with it? I'll kind of unroll them a little bit so you can see. 
very pretty. I love our coordination. And it's always high quality. That's why I became a demonstrator 16 years ago. I love how high quality everything is. So, oh, very, very pretty. Like I said, I may, may have seen these yesterday, but I've only seen them the one time, so I still get excited when I see them. I am so ready to play with my new stuff, but I wanted to get this video done before I did. Then we've got those two sides. Isn't that pretty? I love the colors in this. Okay, then these two. And once again, this is another one. This one doesn't have the linen look, but this does. So I think, let me look at this one. Looks like one side has the linen look and one side doesn't. So the one with the flowers does not. Then we've got these two. These look similar, but they're not exact. So you can see the difference there. So that is a different design. Then this one just got the striped and then these little flowers. So we'll kind of do it like that. There's this one, and here's the other side to it. So another beautiful set of designer series paper. And we were able to buy this card pack, but I couldn't afford it this time around. I'm going to get them because I really like them. But since I had one to be able to show you from my Uplines house, it comes with a set of these. It works perfectly with the Memories and More card kit that you can get. That was another thing I wasn't able to get, but I'll be getting it because it's, it's gorgeous. But what we did, we stamped the Big Magnolia stamp on vellum. We were able to die cut it. See how nice that lined up. It just looks so pretty. And we embossed it in white and then colored on the back with markers. And that gives you the stained glass look. We even stamped on the inside a little bit. But this is made out of craft card stock. And I love the silver embossing on it. So a very neat card set. So if you need to make whip out a bunch of cards. Oh, and I forgot to, the envelopes have liners. For them, so you put those inside. So very, very pretty. Love how that all goes together. So that's all with the magnolia. Okay, now I'll be showing you the memor memorable mosaic bundle. I love, if you love mosaics, you're going to love this stamp set. It's another cling stamp set. And you see all the different images. I can't wait to do something with that tree. I've seen a few trees made from demonstrators that got this at, on stage. And then it comes, the bundle comes with the timeless label punch that'll die cut this, oh, you punch this out perfectly. And whenever I say bundle, make sure you understand what the bundles are. You could buy these two things separately, but if you buy them together as a bundle, you'll save 10%. So it's a really good deal. So I highly suggest doing the bundle route. So that's the stamp set and the punch to go with it. Here are some, let's see, flower faceted gems. I can't remember the names yet. But aren't those pretty? You can get a little closer. I love the shimmer to them and the colors. So that definitely gives you a good mosaic look. Then we've got this pretty mint macaron textile ribbon. I really like that. It's kind of got a little bit of a shimmer to it. I don't know if you can tell. Very pretty. So those would go with the embellishments. And here's the designer series paper. This one is called Mosaic Mood Specialty. So whenever it says specialty, you know one side is going to have some special stuff, and I'll try to move this. I don't know if hopefully you're seeing this in the video, but it's got a gloss to them, so all the hummingbirds have a gloss to them, and they are very easy to fussy cut. I'll show you that in a card. We did that at my Uplines house, too. And there's the other side for that. Then we've got, this is the glossy side with this one, and this is the other side. Well, if I get a hold of it, there we go. Then we've got, this one's the glossy side, and some hummingbirds on the other side. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. I like all of them, as a matter of fact. And there's the other side to that. And I'll, those flowers look like they'd be really easy to fussy cut in the butterflies. So I'm not a big fussy cutter, but when it's not that hard, I don't mind doing it. There we go. And then this one's the glossy one for this one, and here's the other side to that. So another beautiful designer series paper pack. And then I'll show you a card that we made. Now, I don't have a card for everything, but this one, so you can see we've got the shimmer. So we die, uh, fussy cut this out. I couldn't believe how easy that was to cut out. Now, this is a stamp set that I wasn't able to pre-order. It's another Daisy set. It's called Daisy Lane. And we do have a Daisy uh, set already. But this is another one, and it comes with a medium-sized daisy flower. So now we've got two sizes of daisy punches. 
so I love that so we can make another layer that would be a little smaller than that one so that's pretty cool hope you like that okay now these are just bundles that I'm showing you here I don't have any paper that go along with these right now but you can do this as a bundle above the clouds I love the balloons in this and the neat thing is you can stamp the outline image and then this one makes a, a lighter watercolored image for the inside so it makes it look like you colored it in it's got all that if you can see all that shading in there you just stamp it that one time and it has that shading and I've got the clouds so they can be nice puffy clouds you can have little balloons in the background with the clouds and then have your big balloon in front and you can punch it out you see the pencil will punch out the balloon and a little basket and then if you want to make a little banner a little triangle and I want to show you something we made at my upline's house yes that's the balloon isn't that neat what she did she had to stamp this up this one upside down on designer series paper and then we punched it out with a punch and then just colored it in a little bit down here and that makes it look like a vase isn't that a neat idea and then we die cut those flower images I showed you in that bird ballad designer series paper we fussy cut those out put them on there so the only stamp we used was the high friend here at the bottom oh, well I take that back and the balloon in the basket isn't that neat that's a new take on this you don't have to do hot air balloons you can make them into vases I'm sure that we'll all think of some other things can't wait to see what everybody comes up with and thankfully the whisper white polka dot tulip ribbon is still coming back the very vanilla one is not but the whisper white one is and to believe I use the whisper white so much more than the very vanilla so I'm really happy about that because you can dye the um, that to whatever color you want and this one is to a wild rose bundle it's, it's got a three-step type thing let's see with the leaves so you can get a lot of depth in these very very pretty once again it's got greetings with it it is a photopolymer that way you can line it up whenever it's a step-by-step -step one like the balloon one was also photopolymer so you can line them up so if it's one that you have to line up it's going to be photopolymer and another die set once again it's size so it'll fit inside the stamp case if you want it to and there are the dies with it another stitched frame oh I love them um, some leaves so that these two right here do not have um, stamps to go along with it but all the outline ones do and then a nice little border and we made a couple cards with that this one the first one will show the rose and we put some shimmer paint on it these are those two dies right here and then we had this neat border there's the neat border and I'll be showing you this designer paper here in a minute. I love this designer paper. And this one shows a designer paper too. I should have shown this before these cards, but this is with the same bundle, the two wild rows. We just used this stamp here to stamp all over this and then die cut it out with this die here. And the blessed is also in the stamp set. And this is that polka dot ribbon dyed. Isn't that gorgeous? My upline does it with, um, she'll put in a mason jar some water and some of our ink refills and then just puts the whole roll of ribbon in and lets it soak for a few hours and then you let it dry overnight and it's ready to go so you have a whole roll of it you can also use an ink if you only want to do a little piece of it not a whole roll you could take a sponge daub or you could even cut a piece and put it in the in that um, ink and water solution but you can also take a sponge dauber and spread ink on it that way I've done that before in a video but very neat idea Okay, now we'll go ahead and get these out of the way. Here's another masculine set I like, A Good Man. We've had images like this before, and now we've got one for men. I love it. Dad holding his, looks like his little girl, because it looks like a little ponytail. And there he's got his little boy, and then relaxing in the backyard. <laughs> love it. And I've we made a couple cards with these, and they're so fun to watercolor. These we used with ink pads and blender pens. I think we didn't know I we might have used uh, alcohol painters because that's with watercolor paper but isn't that neat now the skin though since we don't have an ink pad we use the ivory stamp and blends on the skin but I love it be using that a lot and the designer paper we used was the um, from that sailboat set I can't remember the name of it right now and this is made with some vellum that I did not get this time around and we uh, embossed it with a settles folder which is still available in the catalog okay now this is ribbon I did not get anything else that was in this ensemble 
because they made it so we could get the stamp set, the designer series paper, but I went ahead and I'm going to wait definitely for the stamp set because it's bundled with um, some dies and embossing folders, and I want to get those. Those weren't available to pre-order, so I'm going to wait so I can get my 10% off. But this is so soft. It is so pretty. It's a Sahara Sand color, and it's called Woven Threads Trim, and that's what the ensemble is called, Woven Threads. But I, I'll have to show you that when I get it. It'll, I won't be able to get it up till June 4th like the rest of you, but it's going to be really pretty. I love that ribbon. We've got new pattern paper. This is 6x6. Six six. This is the in the 2019-2012 new in colors. And one side is this, and the other side are, is script. And you get four sheets of that, at least with the end colors. I have to look at the other colors. I bet it's only two because um, there are more colors than those. I'll have to look at that. So that's the other design, the gingham and this side. And you get them in each of the end colors. So we've got, this is the, textile, uh, the terracotta tile color. This one is the seaside spray color. These new in colors are so pretty. This is the Rococo Rose. I'm excited about having this color because we haven't had a good rose for a long time. And to be honest, I think this is prettier than any of the roses we've ever had. This is Purple Posy in the same designs. And then the Peacock, or Pretty Peacock. So those are, I'll give you a glimpse of the in colors. And then I've got this card stock with the in colors too. I'll show you those real quick. First off, I'll show you the ribbons. We've got new ribbon for each of the new colors. This one is the one I opened up. This is the Pretty Peacock one. So I love the linen thread, uh, linen ribbon, I'm sorry, in the center. So they've each got that linen thread base and then the pretty scalloped edges on both sides. So this is the Pretty Peacock. There's the Rococo Rose, the Terracotta Tile, Seaside Spray, and the Purple Posy. So I'll be using, I love that ribbon. It's so pretty. And then, running out of room, put stuff. Here we go. Now, we were not able to get the Purple Posy ink pad this time. They were having quality issues with them. Uh, they should have it all resolved by the time the new catalog comes live in January, in June 4th, hopefully. But these were the four I was able to get so far. So we've got the Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, Seaside Spray, and Pretty Peacock. And it, they will be bundled, so when the new catalog comes out, if you want to get all five at the same time, you'll save 10% getting them that way. So that's the best deal. Then here are all the cardstock colors. So we've got the Pretty Peacock, the Rococo Rose, the Terracotta Tile, Purple Posy, and the Seaside Spray. They are so pretty together. I like that color combo together. So those are the new end colors. Those will be around for two years. Now I'm going to show you my favorite designer paper of all time. And I can't remember the name of it. Perennial Essence. Isn't that gorgeous? It is so pretty. And they've all got a canvas look to them. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it really looks like you're holding a canvas. So this would be perfect if you just had a 12 by 12 frame. Pop that in there and you've got some beautiful work of art for your wall. So that's what this side looks like, and here's the other side for it. And it's got that linen look to it too, or the canvas looking look. Then, another gorgeous one. See why I like this one so much? It is so pretty. And there's the other side to that. And this was the one that was really pixelating in my life, so I want to definitely make sure that you saw these better. Then this one, another beautiful one. And let's see, this one has got little faint flowers all throughout. I think that is really pretty. That was on one of the cards that I showed you here a little bit ago. Another beautiful flowered one. And here's the other side to it. Just love this paper. Oh, yeah. I will be making so much. This I'll probably be buying multiples of the designer paper throughout the year. It is so pretty. And then we've got this one and this one. So pretty so you can make work of art out of all these big floral ones love them so that is the perennial essence paper i've only got two more things to show you and then we'll be done these are 
the Perennial Essence Floral Centers. These went along with the um, designer paper. And like I said, I did not get this bundle. I will be getting it. I just had, this is one I had to wait off on. But these are fuzzy. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they're fuzzy and they're also self-adhesive on the back. And this is what we used in this card here on the daisy. If you saw that, that's got the little fuzzy center. So doesn't that make a perfect floral center? Love that. And then, last but not least, here is my favorite ribbon. This is, goes along with that Essence one too. This is the Petal Pink Striped Organdy Ribbon. It is, I love this one. This was on one of the cards and I forgot to bring that one in here. It was on, uh, we used a different um, bundle that I didn't purchase this time either. But I really like that ribbon. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my new stuff as much as I love showing it to you. Um, don't forget about the Everything is Rosie bundle or the kit. You definitely want to get that this month. It is while supplies last. This is this was the bundle here with the stamps of the thing I showed you at the beginning. And if you purchase it for me and use the host code in the bottom left corner, you'll be put into an exclusive Facebook group page where I will post videos and I'll give you cardstock call cut out for you, mail it to you so you can make the cards and the other projects yourself. There'll be some 3D projects too. I hope you like it and I'll see you pretty soon. I'll be having, making some new things and I'll make videos to show them to you. Have a great weekend.